Joana, você é, encruzilhada se passa nos anos 70, você já adiantou para a gente que o próximo deve se passar nos anos 90. É, eu queria saber, você está mais interessado em saber se como o passado é diferente do presente é, ou como diferentes épocas podem ser semelhantes? Essa é uma outra boa pergunta. Um, one of the things that I discovered in the course of writing Crossroads, when I went back and remembered what it had been like in the early 70s um, in a Christian youth group, I, I found all of these ideas that are that seem very new now, worries about cultural appropriation, worries about white privilege. We were actually having those conversations 50 years ago. Um, in the context of a Christian enterprise. And it is interesting to see that although things change tremendously, uh, they also don't change that much. Um, for me, the attraction of the past is that it is a very, very different world. Um, I noticed Uh, how wonderfully liberating it was not to have to have mobile phones in a novel. That if you wanted to, if you wanted to communicate with someone in 1971, you either saw them in person, or you might write a letter, or you would speak to them on a telephone. And if it was long distance, that was an expensive call. This was great for the novelist because it means that instead of having text exchanges, yeah, they can be interesting. Mostly you have to put two characters in a room together. And as any playwright can tell you, things are very interesting when you get two people in a room together. Things become, it's just richer. Uh, and you know, a dozen different things like that when you move to a, a place in the past which is technologically different from our own world, Uh, it's just a fun place to be. It's 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 uh, it's kind of it's closer to the 19th century, weirdly, than it is to just 50 years later. Um, 